great honor to be able to celebrate your book and all the books and the writers and, and to celebrate the community, which I think is really the most special part, everyone gathering together in celebration of books. What was the first thought that went through your mind when you heard Ben Fountain say, and the winner is Descanti for the Rabbit Hutch? I thought I was dreaming. I mean, I know that it sounds maybe fraudulent when people say that they couldn't expect this, you know, in their wildest dreams, they wouldn't imagine this, this happening. But um, that was true for me. I just, I didn't, I didn't expect it at all. And I was really uh, in awe. I was, yeah, I, I thought I've, I've actually left my body now, just like my protagonist. <laughs> One of the things I love about the book is I feel like you wrestle with sexism and male violence and women's struggle against all the ways in which men are dominant and yet do so with levity and with real creativity. And I wonder, how did you hold that balance as you were writing? So I knew that this kind of this young woman protagonist, Wandine, she would be aware that she was that that the men around her and the boys around her were always trying to pull her into their narratives as, the, as a kind of peripheral character and one of the things that drew me to her as a protagonist was she really insisted on being the protagonist of her own life and she rejected all of these kinds of these other forces that were trying to make her into um, a, a lesser a lesser person and uh, a less visible person who do you hope will read the rabbit hunch one thing that I love about reading is that I think the the best the best books can sort of speak to anyone, you know, even if their experience is superficially so different from that of um, the characters in the book. And I also really love how uh, each book is different depending on who's reading it. I think I love this kind of sacred collaboration between reader and writer. I truly believe that attention is the most sacred resource that we have to spend on this planet. And books are perhaps one of the last places where we spend this resource freely and where it means the most. And so everyone here tonight, thank you for everything you've done to put books out into the world and to promote justice. And um, I think kindness wins. I think that's the, the point of this evening, love wins. Thank you so much.